Hi, I'm going to talk a little bit about, in this airway management course for the MICU fellows, uh, use of the GlideScope. Now, GlideScope is just one of many names, but it all boils down to uh, the same thing. This is actually a Stortz thing. It all boils down to a device which has a screen on which you can see what's going on. And uh, whether it's a GlideScope or a Stortz, they all kind of have the basic uh, idea. So, let's go over it first. First of all, how is this in contrast to regular laryngoscopy? Well, with regular laryngoscopy, you want to have the tube sort of like a hockey stick, and you put the laryngoscope way to the right, way on the right side of the mouth, and go. Versus when you use something like a, a Stortz or a GlideScope, you put this right in the middle, right smack dab in the middle of the tongue, and you have the tube more shaped like a C. Shaped more like a C is how it works. So that's the contrast between these two. The GlideScope, the Stortz, any of these things, I'm not going to say they've replaced the fiber optic, but boy, when it comes to difficult intubations, these are used very frequently. If you talk to people out in private practice who do anesthesia, a lot of them, basically, anytime there's a bad airway, they use these. There is discussion in ER circles that no intubation should even be done with direct laryngoscopy anymore. They should all be done with one of these indirect uh, vision devices, such as a GlideScope. Well, that's debatable, uh, but that's just to let you know what people are thinking. So now, let's go ahead and get into things. I'm going to turn this so that th the camera can show this stuff, but I'm going to show you what I do. So we've induced the patient, we do all the other things we've talked about in other videos, and now it's time to do the laryngoscopy. Again, notice how I go right smack dab in the middle. You don't see me going way off to the side. I put the, the scope in right smack dab in the middle. And then I lift straight up, and then most of the time, bingo, you get a very nice view. Then with this in more of a kind of a C shape, more of a kind of a C-shape, I'm going to C-shape this thing in, all right? So I'm going to go just like this, there we go. The advantage of this is, first of all, you almost always get a great view. You don't always get a great view, but you almost always get a great view. The other advantage is those people hovering around, what do you see, what do you see? They can see too. Everyone can see what's what's going on. So there's not none of the sort of blind man's bluff that we see when, especially we're training someone and we're saying, well, wh what do you see? What do you see? We can see exactly what they see. The glide scope doesn't mean all your troubles are going to be over. You still have to do a good history and a physical. Still have to assess if someone's going to be difficult. But if you see someone's going to be difficult, I can tell you that these things really help out. They give you a better view. They often give you a better view. And they allow those around to see how you're doing. See, you can see that right there. And they allow you to actually have everyone in the room watch as the tube goes in. And that's how the GlideScope works. 